Hello, First Alliance family. I'm Susan Scott, the Director of Women's Ministries. I wanted to share with you a reminder that our prayer meeting is tonight at 645 on Facebook Live, as well as our food drive for Booker T in Wellington happening on Wednesday from 1 to 5. Feel free to drop off those foods at First Alliance on Wednesday between 1 and 5. So my question for today is, what is love? Well, 1 John 4, 8 says, Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. So God is love, and Jesus demonstrated this for us on the cross. Look with me at John chapter 19, verses 23 to 27. The context is Jesus has been taken to Golgotha and crucified. So John chapter 19, verses 23 to 27. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture, which says, they divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did these things. But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. The truth is, Jesus is love personified. He was selfless. He looked out for the needs of others. He saw because he was looking for opportunities. He welcomed relationships and opportunities to love others and he continued to care for his mother. John 19, 28 says, after this, Jesus knowing that all was now finished said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. I love so much that he said all was finished. I pray that you are encouraged today that the lover of your soul loves you and he demonstrates his love for you. His love is unconditional. He sees you and you are not invisible. He saw what his mother needed in John, and he sees what we cannot even see. I want to pray for you, John 15, 12. Lord, I pray that you would help us to follow your commandments, to love and see others as you have loved and you see us. Thank you that you are love and your gospel is the best news ever. Help us love you and love others more. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Have a great rest of your day.